Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat, and this is Card Life. It's an early development. I bought it a couple of months ago, and uh, they've updated it significantly since I last played. They added bows, new creatures, new biomes. Yeah, I have to punch this tree down. As you can see, it takes chunks out of the tree and then it falls. And they just added quests recently. And these are rewards. These are other quests. And it tells you what you need to do. Alright. Yeah, and this game is uh, developed by a studio in UK called Free Jam. It's an award-winning studio. They made other games. I can't remember the name. It was like Robot something. I don't own that one. That's the only one I own from them so far. There's a. This game is unique, as you can tell, that this tree is flat. The ground, everything, even the clouds, is all made out of cardboard. There's another unique aspect about this game. Is that it's a. Uh, I'll show you in a bit when I get some uh, wood built up here. I am playing on an online server. You got to be careful about that. See, I'm cutting down these oak trees. I don't want to cut up there. Yeah, they, when they added these new trees. See, these are the redwood trees over here. So when you cut them down, you, the planks will be red. So anything you built, well, not anything, but structures will be that color. So be mindful when you start building stuff that you only have one type of wood in your inventory. Not unless it's tools or weapons. But if you're trying to build a house, not unless you want a multicolored house, try to stick with one type of wood. It's starting a nice looking area over here. It's a good building spot. It's a good spawn. I played it uh, just a little bit to test it, and I had a pretty bad spawn. But in this one, it seems like I got a pretty good one. I'm gonna build up this wood so I can start building some tools, and maybe build me a small house. And I'll show you the other special feature this game has in it. I think I got enough wood right now. You push I. And see, here's all your building options. The red X means you don't have the uh, required items to build. And I'm missing fiber. Got plenty of wood, but no fiber. Alright. See, these right here? These give you fiber. And a lot of stuff requires fiber, so you need a bunch of this stuff. For building your house, tools, a bunch of stuff. All right, these bushes are right here. These are berry bushes. The white ones, the red pinky looking ones. And uh, earlier I found a new bush I've never seen before. There's a somebody's house over there, you see that? It might be kind of close to this area. And you'll probably notice in the right hand corner at the bottom, you have a hunger meter. And it, it tends to run out pretty quickly. So you gotta collect up these berries. That's your best food option at the beginning of the game. And it looks like it's almost sundown. That's not good. Yeah, you can get attacked during the day and night, but at night you have a lot of stuff spawn. I think there's goblins, imps, bears, they'll attack you. Large turtles, which is a new creature that was added. And crabs, they're new. No, if you get close to them, they will attack. That's a goblin. You see that thing running around over there? And they will they will hunt you down if you get too close to them. And those f red things, of those flying things, those are the imps. Did somebody just laugh over there? Oh, he's on me, he's on me. 
Yep, yeah, he's got it. Oh, I can't run away, I don't think. Or he fell in the cave. I'm okay with this. Oh, that's sunlight. Whoa, that's sunlight, man. It's coming through the ground. I'm saying I'm extremely hungry. So let's eat some of these berries here. These are the spring berries, the green ones, which comes from the red plants. And uh, your, your hunger meter down there, it's, a, it's probably a good idea to keep a little bit of it empty. So when you get attacked or something and you manage to run away, your health, after a while, your health will start to regenerate. But if you need health on the fly, I don't think they have potions just yet in this game. Or any other way to heal. So leave a little bit of hunger bar empty and you can heal your health because you can't eat anything if uh, if it's full. Alright, let's go get some more of these berries. The beginning of the game can be kind of a little bit difficult. But that's like any survival open world games. Until you get established and everything will be just fine. But at the beginning can be a bit tough. Now notice in this game, since I bought it several months ago, is that it's very atmospheric. It can get scary at night with all the sounds and stuff. Man, there's so many structures. There's, there's a house over there. House over there. Or a starting of a house. I'm trying to find somewhere where there's nobody claimed the area. Yeah, I'm having them sprinting right now to get through here so I don't get caught by these goblins. But it does take your stamina and it makes your food bar drain a bit faster. I'm just trying to get away from here so I can find a good building spot. I joined the server. Apparently the server was almost nighttime. Alright, let's get some of this fiber. You need fiber for building structures, walls, doors, whatnot, to hold the planks together. I might have to make an, a multicolored house. Because these are redwoods over here. Just trying to find a good place to start a little home. Maybe right here. Right by this little lake. Yeah, the, uh, I think I said this at the beginning, but the uh, the game is in early access, like early development, and uh, so like water doesn't really exist; it's just there. You just walk right in there. But this game's actually quite a lot of fun so far. That you know, played so far. I haven't played very much of it. I've been saving this uh, for the videos. All right, let's do this. Actually. I'll show you guys this first. I'm going to make an axe. This is one, one axe. Alright, this is the special feature of the game. So you just have these blocks down here. This is your handle. This is the blade. And it's like connect the dots. You can make it whatever shape you want. So basically you draw your own tools. So if I wanted something weird. Let's make this all weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is some kind of a, a limit. You can't just like go crazy because you'll see these boxes around the area. Ain't that a beautiful light? <laughs> Alright, let's edit this handle. Let's see what we can make out of it. Let's just go weird. Make it look like some weird stick. There we go. Beautiful. Best thing I've ever created. I right, won't put this. This is for torches. You can make torches, and I think it might have other uses. Definitely need lots of that fiber. I want to put berries over there at the end. Tools up front. And uh, if you don't want to use a tool, you can just push the F key, and you got your fist. It has its own slot. So you're not wasting durability on tools. But that uh, connect the dots feature in this game that allows you to customize tools. You can customize building stuff like uh, build, uh, walls, doors, ceilings, just anything. 
Alright, do I have enough wood to start building a small house right here? Let's see. Let's do some foundations. Let's do three of them. And see, you can even customize your foundation. But I'm just going to leave these normal. Yeah, I think the recent update of this game was they added bows and crossbows. So you have ranged, ranged attack. Because last time I played it, they didn't have all these, like, these different tree types. They have, like, several now. Before it was just oak. And they have more biomes. They added a whole bunch of new creatures, like crabs, turtles. And I think uh, maybe the imps. Because I think the goblins were there when I played it a few months ago. There's bears, deer. Then you go hunting for all this stuff. You get leather, meat. Alright, do I have enough to make a door? Let's build this house so I don't get attacked. Yep, here's a door. Craft one door. It doesn't allow you to customize the door yet, but it might be an added feature. Yeah, they uh, advertise this game as science, fantasy, open world, survival. Right, I'm gonna build two walls, and these I think I'm gonna put a window in. So let's build like some weird. You know, badly drawn windows. Beautiful. Yeah, if you're real slow and careful with it, then you can make it look pretty good. Alright. Alright, so that went into one. Alright, I want a window definitely towards the, uh, the pond or whatever that is. And let's put one out oh, towards this deserty area. This house is going to be funky looking. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Five regular walls with no windows. Yeah, if you see how if I do this, so you can pick your item. You'll see a check mark next to it or an X. The X means you don't have the required items to build. Question mark or the, uh, the check mark says that you do. This is the required ingredients. Shows it right here. And uh, this right here, you can make multiple of that one item you just got to be careful when you bit like build a wall put a window in it when you do your connect the dots part and all the windows that's or all the walls that you picked in here will all have windows on them so you have to be careful with that so when you build or customize an item make sure you have the right amount that you want to have customized so you don't have all your walls with windows so, I'm extremely hungry, like always, and I'm getting attacked. Yeah, this axe ain't gonna do it. It ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, this game can be kind of difficult. Yep, I'm down. Alright, it's gonna respawn me piece and somewhere else completely. And I get attacked by the same thing that I just ate killed me. I think that's a bug in the game. I don't think the same creature that attacked, you know, killed you should be able to follow you wherever you spawn. Oh, that's where I died. So I'm actually quite close to my home. Yeah, you see this white spire? Yeah, it tells you where you died last. And it'll randomly throw you somewhere when you do die. So you have to be real careful. There's my house right there. You know what I like to see if they uh, update the game some more is that when you die, you drop your box or your items. That when you picked up the items out of the box, it'll go back to like the items will go back to the way uh, the way that was when you died, because you notice all my stuff has been removed. So let's put this. Oh, I got a leather though. Of course, hide this stuff. You'll need a lot of that later on. My wood's getting low. That's why I went out there. I don't want these palm trees because, uh, well, we'll just get the palm trees. 
his pantries are new too. Because uh, when I played this several months ago, there was only just oak trees that I remember. Oh, I see, because a palm tree doesn't give you very much. Or cocoa wood. I think this game actually looks pretty good for, you know, the aesthetic they picked. The aesthetic. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I'll be using this wood to build the rest of my house. Always take down one of these redwoods. They give you a lot of wood, but the coloration is so off. Because that down there's oak. Now, when I chop down the trees, not unless you want to sit here for a long time going through all this, go for the, the thinnest part of the tree. So you're not spinning forever on one tree. Alright, let's see. Yeah, even though this is a thin spot of the tree, it takes a while. Alright, and there we go. Timber! Yep, that's a good amount of wood right there. But you'll see the coloration when it makes it is going to be crazy. Yeah, when I last played this, there was no quest. So you press J for journal, and we get all this stuff. Alright, so I can do the weaver. You get 10 times fiber. Tool up, 10 times oak. Hunger management. You get some extra berries. You can go through this 20 times berries quite quickly. It's going to give me foundation. And, oh sweet, a, a crate. Basically, uh, this game's version of chests. Well, I can actually make my house bigger. Three bits. I can't do that. Let's put one there. One there. Let's have this go out further. It's all blinking and stuff. Now, all right. In this episode, I'm going to try to finish this house. For the most part. Alright. Oh, yeah. I'll use this because it switches your weapons while you're trying to shoot stuff. Alright, how much can I build of this? Let's build six. I'll leave these normal. Boom. Alright. What was I pushing? Let's go here. But yeah, see this, the coloration now. See, this is oak. That's that cocoa wood. So you have to be careful what you use to build your items or your walls and whatnot. Uh, here comes a, a wolf. Hey, Glitchy Wolf, how are you doing? Mr. Glitchy Wolf. Alright, I'm going to put this over here against this wall. And you can rotate items by pushing the, the right, or clicking the right mouse button. And here comes the wolf. You can rotate all your items. That goes for walls and other stuff too. Wolf, leave me alone. I am just trying to build here. I don't have the time for you right now. Let's build how many more walls can I build? Oh, I'm running out of wood here. Yeah. It takes a pretty good amount. Alright, let's pluck this wolf off. So he can't come. There we go. You're stuck out there, wolf. Ah, the scenery. Okay. I'm always hungry. It takes a pretty good amount of berries to fill that hunger bar. But don't oh it don't fill it all the way up though. So you have room to heal. Cause food heals you too. Well it looks like my roof might be made out of redwood. 
can't be a rainbow house. It doesn't have quite the, as many colors for that. This takes a while for this redwood. You get a pretty good amount of wood out of it though. So I'm to cut down so many trees. I wonder if they're going to add a farming option in this game. I like to have farming options so I can grow your own crops for sustenance slash healing. I would like a uh a potion making system as well so when you don't have food on hand or your food bar is full then you have another way to heal don't chop the same spot twice man nope well, hopefully uh, this will give me enough wood to finish my house off I think it's going to be hard to build my house because the way I have the, the shape of it, like especially the roof part. Oh, man. Yeah, everything has a cooldown. Yeah, this ain't going to work. I'm going to die before he is. Should have built a sword. Yep, down. Where am I going to spawn? In the water. And his health is full again. Yeah, this is really glitchy. Yeah, that ain't worth it. I noticed that when you die in here, so like in this update, if you die, then yeah, it just kind of spawns you in a space, a place where the and I'm dead. I'm dead. Look at this. What is going on? Yeah, I think they need to fix this. It's glitchy as heck <laughs> when it comes to this uh, enemies and whatnot. I hope I'll be able to punch him to death. Who are you? See all those wolves over there just piling up. Give me the axe. It was like stuck in the ground. He's just sinking further and further. I guess he just appears in my house. Here. This is just weird. I did say it was in early development so glitches and weird happenings this is the norm right now where did that i just go did i pick it up probably picked it up come on shut the door please Thank you. all right let's try to build this reef real quick before we end the episode all right let's see Put one, two, three, and four in here. I don't know. I can just have like one. So, it's so one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six, seven. If I got the wood for it. No, I don't. Of course, I don't. Yeah, you can uh, customize your roof as well. You can make a skylight or whatever. Almost not all the parts in this game is that way, but most are editable. Like a whatever word I just said, you can edit most parts in this game. Did not hurt this one. There goes my axe. Go to F and punch him. This is just wrong. <laughs> I 
looks like I'm not right about this at all. Alright. Do I even have enough wood to make another axe? No, I do not. Well, this is going to take a while. Let's use up what's left of this. Oop, what's that little piece right there? Yeah, if you, <laughs> you cut the tree across and there's like one little piece still stuck, the whole tree will not fall until the whole thing's cut through. So you just do a little step at a time. Every time it goes over. And there goes that. Goodbye, Axe. Nice knowing you. My beautiful creation has broken. This takes a while. We're almost done though. My multicolored house. It's a work of art, guys. Should be in some kind of a studio or something, you know. Let's cut down this tree next to my house. I wanted to keep this forest here, but oh well. Can't always have it nice, you know. Yeah, then yeah, I would like to see a uh, potion, you know, making crafting station or something, or uh, farming. That would be kind of cool. And they did, uh, it's not in, a, not in the game yet, but they said there's going to be like mechs, vehicles, flying and on the ground. You're going to have, like, fantasy creatures of all types. I think the only one I know of right now is only dragons. That's been mentioned. There's going to be science, technology. Just all kinds of stuff. All that uh, science and technology stuff hasn't been implemented yet, but they are working on it. Come on, close the door. Please. All right, let's see if I can build some of these roof sections. Here we go. Oh, I'm out of fiber. Maybe that's why I couldn't build it this whole time. Oh, I need my berries out. Let's put my berries down. I always put them on these two last ones. It's just my personal preference. And don't eat this. Make you sick. Alright, let's see. Let's cook up some more of these. I think these white ones, these uh, starberries, I think they give you a little bit more hunger than the, the green berries. And I haven't seen any of the honey berries because they're like an, the flowers are an orange color. They're called the honey berries. I haven't really got to test to see if those will give you more or less than the rest of the berries. And how many times can I say the word berry? Alright. Oh, I still need fiber, don't I? And it's almost night time. Scary time's about to start. So before that happens, let's get this fiber. I think I got another thing done here. Hunter. Two times light uh, wolf pelts. Nice. Later on, you will need a lot of leather. And that comes from slaying the monsters you get coarse hides you get the wolf pelts and i think you can make a, a tanning station to make uh leather and leather is used for a lot of stuff later on too as well just like this fiber so you always got to keep this stuff on hand plus the wood yeah, and there's uh, cave systems in this game. You got caves, you got gems, you got different types of metal from copper all the way up to cobalt to build tools with. And I've never seen a gem in this game. And I've only seen copper. Sounds like somebody's banging around outside my house. There's some noises going on outside. And that's not in the game. I'm already kind of creeped out by the weird noises you hear at night in this game. But then I hear noises outside my house. It's not good, guys. Not good. Alright. Let's build some more of these. Okay, so two more of these. One, two. I will leave them normal. And six. Five. See? 
check out that roof there. Uh, I'm running into a problem right here, you know. Well, cripe. Can I not put it in there? Can I put it up here? Come on. There we go. Fixed. So if you can't see this open space, I couldn't put it down. Just look at the other side. Alright. What is this? I can actually build these for the other part. Let's put some skylights in here. Uh, how should I make this? Let's make a normal window shape. Let's Wow. My drawing skills are amazing, guys. Well, since I just did that, let's make this side long and make this side short. Let's keep it consistent, right? <laughs> this don't look good at all. Alright. Good enough. Alright. Yeah, I left my character. Because you can even edit your character when you start uh, the game. And you can have your character the way you want to look, just like you could do the tools, you know, or do with the tools, editing them. I just left my character normal. Apparently they got relics and stuff. There is an enchantment table that you can enchant these relics, and then you can wear them down here. I think they're down here. Or it could be here. I'm not really sure. This is armor. That's neat. So, four of these? I can actually build them. Let's put a circle. Is this the only place you can draw in? Okay. Sure. I think they may need to make that spot a little bit bigger. That's kind of small. Beautiful. Work of art, guys. Most beautiful thing ever. And always remember, use that right mouse button to rotate your items so you can place them how you want. Make them look the way you want. Alright, my house is done. One final touch, guys. One final touch. See, this torch right here is the one you hold in your hands. You can't place it. I can build that wooden bow. What's it cost? Ooh. I've never built a bow in this game. Just build a sword though. Let's build this bow real quick. If you ever seen The Walking Dead, I'll be like Daryl. Okay, this is gonna be one shoddy looking bow. Okay, where's that line going? Hmm. Guys, work of art. I'm going to submit that to some kind of museum or something. Alright. See that one torch I was talking about? This one's the one you hold, you can't place. And these is like table torch you can place on tables. And there's your wall torches. And I'm going to do four of them. And you can even edit these. I'll just leave them normal looking. I think they look just fine as is. Alright. Torches away. Alright, let's put one right there. Beautiful. Okay, one over here. I'll put it on this gray spot. Now I'll put one outside. That was weird. It was kind of cool. It like went with the door. Let's put one outside like a porch light. There we go. I like the lighting in this game. A pretty good job on lighting. It's very atmospheric. It's really nice. Makes it feel cozy in you. Alright. I think I will call that an episode, guys. And, uh... I'll probably, uh put the link to the to this game in the description if you guys would like to check it out I think right now it's at ten dollars it's not that expensive 
and it is worth it because they're constantly up to updating this game. There's more and more stuff added. There's so much, so many features planned. So if you like, to check it out. I'll leave the, the the link down there. And uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button and show your support for me and my family. And uh, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat family, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. I upload every day except for Sunday for right now. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.